Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, Thunder is Logan here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the best method on how to rob the aura rig, well at least that I know of. So jumping right into it, the first thing you're going to want to make sure is that you have plenty of weapons in, well, your inventory, and the force field gun launcher, well, force field launcher gun, and the uh, grenades, and the rocket launcher would be helpful too, and the key card, but uh, it's not required, but it would definitely help. So then once you get all that, it's going to want to go ahead and head over to uh, the oil rig. So, well, okay, my jet's kind of, okay. My jet, I mean jet ski, it's not a jet, what, 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 am, I, what am I talking about? So then you want to go ahead and climb up here, and uh, to activate the robber, you're going to go want to go ahead and place TNT here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so now you'll have, uh, looks like seven NPCs uh, show up from out of here. Okay, uh, now the best way to deal with this is uh, just take them out with, uh, an AK-47 here, or like some sort of machine gun, or it could you could use that barrel over there to revenge either as it uh, damages the NPCs a lot, but it does uh, damage you as well if you could close and explode, so be careful. Okay, so I'm getting pretty low on health, and this is what the uh, force here launcher is useful for. You can kind of just uh, sit here where they try to shoot you, and then you can recover health, and then, okay, let's go ahead and uh, shoot them again, and uh, yep, yeah, like I said, the... Uh, Arrows are used to, okay, I'm getting kind of low here, but, um, it's kind of difficult to do solo, but okay, they're all gone now. Okay, so then you're going to want to go ahead, and once all these NPCs are defeated, you're going to want to go ahead and pull this lever here. Now, there's going to be another NPC up these stairs here, so just be careful of that. Just uh, go ahead and nail them with a uh, shotgun, just like that. Now, this blue door here, you need a key card to open, and there's also a donut vending machine in here, and, uh, you know, if you're on health, you can always, like eat a few donuts to recover, you know. And then it's the uh, first oil tank right here, so let's uh, go ahead and collect that. Okay, now oil tank is collected. I know this room requires a key card, but like, you know, what if you don't have a key card? Do not worry. You can still get some oil if you go ahead and go into this room here. Now, there's three NPCs in this room, so be careful. But uh, you'll go ahead and solve this, well, I guess hack the door. Uh, this is basically exactly like the power plant puzzle so now once you do open there is also a barrel in there you can shoot so once you open it you're gonna want to go ahead and shoot that barrel and yep it would um do a lot of damage to uh, all the npcs that are in there then you can pretty easily take them all out and then you have two other oil tanks here you can go ahead and collect from you know you can always check how much time you have left in the robbery by this place in tnt here so as you can see i have a uh, 2 minutes and 22 seconds left. So now if you're doing this solo, you can't get the full amount of cash that you need, unfortunately. But uh, you can still get a little bit because uh, you need at least to learn the player to open this door. But uh, we'll get to that the next time uh, I rob the oil rig here. So now in here, uh, this room also requires key card, but there's also an NPC in here. So you gotta be careful about that, but uh, this is where you can also disable the turrets or download it, where it's called security. And then if you do have a key card, you can just, okay, yeah, and that's right, there is another NPC up here. And then up here you can uh, get away by um, hijacking this helicopter here, then just taking off. But uh, be careful though, make sure you disable security first before doing that though. So now don't worry if you don't have a key card. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh my god, well, okay, I shouldn't have hanging around the, uh, aura rig for too long there, but, um, alright, well, I guess that, uh, tells you, well, that shows you what happens when, uh, you stay at the aura rig for too long, so I definitely don't want to do that. But what I was trying to explain here is that, um, if you don't happen, well, if you happen to not have a key card, you can just exit the robbery the same way you came, and then just jump off of there like right there, then parachute into that speed yacht right there, then just get away with that. But if you don't own the speed yacht, you can always just uh, parachute like way down this way, and then either spawn the Camaro or something. But, I don't know, depending on how much stuff you got, well how many vehicles you got in Jarrick, I guess, whatever works for you. But yeah, unfortunately I didn't get my money there because I was uh, too busy explaining uh, how to like rob the ore rig there and uh, what you can do in certain situations But uh, we're gonna go ahead and rob it again and it's time I'm gonna get my all on here to demonstrate what to do if you have uh, 
I need some more of a person to rob and door rig with you, so, um... But uh, we have to wait for it to open again, but, uh, I'll go ahead and jump cut to that, so, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so we're now at this point, and I've already showed you how to get to this point, so now if you have at least... <coughs> if you have at least one other player, um, with you in the heist here, uh, well, let's, let's see how much time we have, uh... Okay, we gotta kinda get moving here, so, um... Kind of like the museum, you have the one player here, then another player over there to uh, pull the lever. Then uh, there's two NPCs in here, so just uh, be careful. Oh god, okay, let's uh, not, let's not die now. Okay, my my whole might die. Um, there we go. Nailed them with the uh, rocket launcher there. <laughs> so now for this part, you're gonna want to go ahead and pull the lever here. Then uh, right here is a little trick where you can actually go through the pipes. So that's like that, and then. Uh, Get over here, just like that, and there's uh, three more oil tanks that you can collect here. And by doing so, you will now have the full amount of cash that you can achieve. Well, with the bigger bag, at least stand at this trick, uh, we can actually jump uh, right from right here, too. Or from right there, uh, doesn't matter, you can still do it either way. And then from here, you're gonna want to go ahead and go through this store, and then take this jet ski and get on out of here. And now to uh, turn in your cash, um, well, it's uh, pretty simple. You just uh, follow the uh, red arrows here, and uh, I mean, you can get there. I uh, recommend to get there by sea, but uh, you can get there by air or even land, or even land as well. So let's go ahead and locate this boat right here at the uh, cargo port, um, what is it called, the undercover exports, uh, you just locate that boat and then turn your oil, then you get some cash and then there you go, robbery complete. I'm glad I was actually able to showcase uh, turning in the uh, oil to the boat there because the last time I kind of exploded with the ore rig, uh, but we don't talk about that. But yeah, I hope this uh, ore rig robbery tutorial helped, and if it did, uh, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe if you have not yet already, I'd really appreciate that. And be sure to turn on notifications so that way you don't miss out on any new content I post here on the channel. But yeah, that is going to be it, and I will see you all in the next video.